Welcome back to Top 5 Repairs. In today's topic, I'm going to explain how to fix B001 driver frontal stage 1 deployment control. If you're getting B0001 code, you're going to notice the airbag light is going to be on and the check engine light is going to be on or the yellow wrench light is going to be on and you're going to find this issue more commonly found on Ford and Nissan. If you try erasing this code and the code comes right back, that's because there is a real issue. You must fix that problem because if you get to an accident, the driver's side airbag will not deploy. There are a lot of reasons why you're getting B0001 code. And the first and most common reason why you're getting that code is going to be caused by a faulty clock spring. How do you know the clock spring is causing that issue? If the button on the steering wheel are not working, for example, the radio button is not working, the horn is not working, and we turn your steering wheel left and right, and you hear clicking noise, your clock spring might be causing that issue and giving you that code. If the clock spring got damaged, for example, the ribbon cable got damaged, it will cause an open in the circuit. And if the connection got loose for some reason or a pin got pulled, again, it will cause an open in the circuit. And when you use a scan tool and you check the deployment control and you look at the resistance value and when there's an open circuit, it will show zero for resistance value. Or the opposite can occur. For example, if you look at the deployment control value and there's going to be multiple deployment control because you're going to have multiple airbags and you see one number the resistance value number higher than normal and it's higher than the other deployment control resistance value then you know there's going to be an issue if the resistance value is zero for deployment control then most likely you have a faulty clock spring or a loose connection and if the resistance value is higher than normal then most likely you have corroded pins or rusted pins or the pins might be dirty so again if resistance value is high for deployment control again most likely it is caused by corrosion on the pins so you can try cleaning the uh, pins by using a q-tip and you can gently clean the pins one at a time like this and that might fix the issue. If the pins are too small and you don't want to bend the pins, you can use an air duster and try to blow out dust or dirt that might be on the pins. Or you can use an electronic cleaner to clean the connections. I hope you found that lesson useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Repairs.